I told him, I used to stay on the phone with him all the time. I was just like, homie, listen, it's people in the hood that think you owe them something. I kept my brick tape, mixtapes for my niggas in the neighborhood. The albums I kept to myself. That's the game I was given. Like, so if you do that, or exercise that, can't nobody say you owe them nothing because mm -hmm. you gave them the platform the same one as you was getting at the same time you was getting it. Come on, fam. Y'all interview. But y'all gotta get the real, man. Y'all gotta hey, get the real. Hey, we gotta get both sides of the story, though. Like, homie, you can't come over here, homie. Like, nigga, hey, man, say, man, you doing some sh some shit over there that I don't agree with, and now nah, I don't come in my neighborhood with that fam, and like, we not included in that. They were saying, he, they put up, people say Mo3 can't come to North Dallas. You know how mad I be? Yeah. Who said the fuck? Who said I can't? What the fuck? They just gonna put that on there like that's really, like that, like somebody standing on that? In the NBA day, we done spent too much time Bridging those gaps Not between for real. Fort Worth, between South Dallas, Oak Cliff. So man, anywhere, hey, anywhere I done stepped, I've been the same motherfucker. Man. See what I'm saying? Like, ain't no F on my report card nowhere, man. Nah, man. Like, I don't give a damn how many problems we had. I ain't want to see that. And if we came to problems. I wasn't gonna do that to him. You know how three, man, three Talk years, to man. And Mr. Little Hum, I tell you, like, he told me honestly, he was like, Mom, I ain't doing no fighting, you know? I was supposed to guide a little man better, fam.